people. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Behind the Craft with Chaobtium. I'm Abby Darkstar. I'm Keith Zen. And today we're going to continue our video series on uh, Crafter Fandom, which I think last time we talked about, this is a panel we do at conventions. Um, it's inspired by the um, RPF.com, so thanks guys. And we're going to talk about the research portion of our build. Yeah, the research phase, probably out of everything you're going to do when you're working on build on a costume and prop is the most important thing you can do. Uh, it, it is the thing that will build the foundation for whether you can deliver and create something that you are dreaming of or not. Uh, and really, it boils down to collecting everything from high reference screenshots to using Google to uh, dig through stuff, taking screen caps, you name it. Um, you can frequent all sorts of popular building sites like the RPF. Uh, there's a, like if you're into Boba Fett, there's a dented helmet and things like that. Um, so. You know, there's there's a well basically there's a wealth of information out there with the internet the internet has allowed us to help each other not only through messaging boards like the rpf dented helmet uh, the, the hunter's layer, hunter's layer yeah. yeah um but also there are blogs out there and there the actual costume creators now are on social media and available and have done you know articles blogs on on the things that they have created so those resources are all right there for you um, the research phase it just is knowing how to gather all the information all the possible information you want to gather it like chips at a poker table just gather it all to you you want high resolution photos and you can get those not only by searching online using the google search tab you know high you want this in large size but you can also do it through blu-ray you can screen gab from blu-ray videos uh their video game companies are now doing uh th 360 yeah. turnarounds for costumes and not only that they're providing even the pantone colors yeah i mean there's a ton of ways to find stuff and information out there and uh we mentioned google google or any search engine really is going to be your friend and sometimes you have to change the search parameters you know if you're looking for a uh, star lord pants that by itself may not really bring back what you want so you might have to add in star lord you know blue pants or whatever you're looking for at that moment to find that extra thing you might have to add in screen grab or screen capture or something um you know we also look in as you're doing your research you know measurements are a big thing one of the neat tricks that we've learned um, along the way is that if you find something that you already know what it is a uh, great example um, would be black widow mm -hmm. uh in the avengers also in uh, uh what is it uh, iron, iron man 2 she her part of her belt uses these cobra buckles and you can kind of get a rough idea of what size they are if you know what size they are you can then take a good guess at what other pieces are going to be yeah, like the like buckle size the width, or of the, the width of the belt exactly so and another thing we suggest is trying to contact resources i mentioned before that there are a lot of the costume designers that now have blogs out there and you can actually create you know contact politely always politely uh the the creators of these items you can ask them questions you can reach out through twitter and be like hey I'm making a costume and I was just wondering what brand the shoes you used on this costume was that actually happened to you. Yeah, I actually did that for um, I'm a big Justified fan. I wanted to put together a Raylan Givens costume and I had uh, realized that the costume designer was on Twitter. And I sent her a tweet and asked her about the costume and she was really kind enough to come back and give me a lot of useful information. Um, always try to source the original pieces of the costume and this comes in handy i mean yeah with older films it's far more prevalent than it is with newer stuff these days a lot of that stuff's made in house but like let's just say like i'm a fan of magnum pi uh there's a number of pieces that are actually originally sourced things um there's a guy out there that still makes the rings from the original warner brothers mold you can buy the hawaiian shirt yeah. from the same company that made it back when that movie came out or excuse me the tv series came out so there is a lot of cool stuff out there 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 really is now this is the part we're going to talk about once you have all these all this information you you've gathered it you've got it you've got your pictures you've got your references you've got everything now what we suggest and this is what we do is you storyboard it this will help you figure out your process what do you need and what i literally do with my storyboarding process is i'll print out a photo highest resolution again as possible i'll print out a 
360 if I have it. And I'll literally write all over, you know, I'll be like, okay, uh, wig, uh, makeup, um, leather for a belt, uh, everything down to the smallest details to what undergarments you're going to need, shoes, a uh, wig, clay to make a, a sculpt, the urethane, you know, you want everything that's going to be there. But one of the things you need to remember though is, is as you're doing this, it's all according to how much detail or accuracy you want to go into, what your goal is with a costume. Is it to be, you know, oh my god, that's the most epic hot girl I've ever seen, or is it just more, you want to, it's your first costume, you just want to get out there. And there's often multiple ways to get to the same place. So this costume here, if you look at the Red Sonia costume, you could do the chain mail out of cut plastic pieces. People have done it out of foamies, which is a you know just mm -hmm. the foam sheets that you could cut the circles out of. Uh, there's a zillion different ways to do it, and depending on how you finish it, you may have essentially the same look. So it's going to then be based on the amount of time you have, uh, budget, things like that. And uh, speaking of time, when I mean, it, when it comes to time, that's going to be another part of determining how detailed you want to go into a costume. If it's two weeks before a convention, that's that's not a lot of time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pad, pad your expected time. It, I mean, it's great if you don't have to worry about when it gets done. That's awesome. But if you're doing it for a convention or you need it for a, you know a independent film or something like that, you're going to need to figure out when do you need it done by. And ideally pad it by two weeks to a month because let's face it, things go wrong. Mistakes happen. Things don't get shipped. You think yeah. things are coming and will be here in a week and they're coming from China and they take four and a half weeks because it's New Year's or something. Even though in Amazon they say Prime. Not always the case. Sometimes it doesn't happen yeah. that way. And and while you're talking about time and shipping that you, you reference, uh, when you do interact with vendors, always try to get ship uh, tracking numbers. And as soon as you get the tracking number, go up to what are you know UPS or FedEx or whatever, and go up, put it in, and try to guess or see as soon as it gets shipped, and then it gives you an estimate of when it's going to arrive. And if there's issues with that, contact the vendor back and uh, just try to get more information because, let's face it, <laughs> you don't want something to not show up. Exactly, and that's happened to us several times where we're like, oh, it's supposed to arrive on this yeah. day. We got plenty of time. Doesn't show up to like two days before the convention, and we're screwed and then it's also good to have a backup plan yes backup plans are great yeah. but with one of the things you need to really require you know we've got the resources we've got our storyboard we figured out how much time there is the fourth and most important part of this process it's a budget money yeah exactly you, you need to know what you have available to you to build this this item um knowing your budget is gonna save you a lot of heartaches. Uh, I've made the mistake of diving in something really without planning that out, and you get into it, and next thing you know, you're like, oh, wow, uh, I'm out of money, and you're not even halfway done. Next exactly. thing you know, you're either going in the debt or you're tabling the project. Exactly. You don't and wanna that, do that. That's where that storyboard will come in as well, because as you're writing down each of these items, you can say, okay, I need a wig. So I understand that it's a lace front wig, and it's gonna run me, if I get it on eBay, it's going to run me between this much and this much. And you can kind of keep a tally. And again, just like with time, pad your budget. Because you're going to order a wig and it's going to be either the wrong color or the crappiest thing and you can't return it. Or, you know, you just have to buy another one because you're running out of time. So, you know, and another thing to consider is you have to look at, you know, you've, you've looked at what you're accuracy is going to be you've looked at what your budget's going to be but there's a three thing we we call the project management triangle exactly and, and the project management triangle uh which you can see right there uh talks about that you can have something good fast cheap mm -hmm. but you get to pick two yep so if you want a good or a great costume but you don't have a lot of money you're not going to do it fast and if you want a good costume, but you need it in a week for a con, it's not going to be cheap. Exactly. So now with all these factors in, you've got your research, you've got your storyboard, you know how much money you have to spend and you know when you need it by, you know what your goal is, you are ready to begin. And this is how we do the how. Um, I would say that's again where your storyboard comes in. You can look at something and be like, all right, I'm going to start with the wig or I'm going to start with 
the chain mail or I'm going to start with the cloak. You can, you can turn that into an itemized list and an itemized time of what you're going to start on. Figure out a piece and just start. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and when it comes to resources, uh, what's amazing about the internet today and the world that we live in is that there are, um, it seems like there's no shortage of uh, message boards and uh, Facebook groups and uh, you know YouTube channels of Pinterest. resources everywhere. Uh, if you're into Halo, there's the 405th. If mm -hmm. you're into uh, Predator, there's uh, the Hunter's, Hunter's Lair. Lair. The you know if you're into Boba Fett, uh, was it Dented Helmet? Dented Helmet. Uh, of course, we mentioned the RPF. Yep. Uh, there's the superhero costuming forum. If you're into that, there's uh, there's yeah. even the smaller things where there's people on DeviantArt who have put up tutorials, and that's what we're talking about is finding people who have done the costume before they've done maybe something similar and using them as part of your research and your inspiration you know when i was working on uh, the jack harkness costume up on uh what is it uh what is that old uh, uh live journal yeah live yeah. journal i found something on live journal and i don't know if anybody really goes there anymore but they have a whole <laughs> doctor who dedicated live journal thing that actually uh list out like all these costume pieces same thing uh, with sherlock yeah. they have down to the item numbers of the shoes that the woman wears yeah. um but you know this pretty much covers the researcher portion of the craft your fandom video exactly and uh you know we want to thank you again for coming and joining us mm -hmm. um if you enjoyed this video remember to like share and subscribe exactly. uh if you have questions just Put them down below and uh, comments, same thing. And uh, come visit us. Pop in over at the RPF.com. We have our build thread there. And if you have additional questions, you can just get in the conversation. Exactly. Uh, we'll see you next time for the actual build it phase of the Red Sonia project where we'll be tackling this costume. Oh, my. What fun. See you later. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. That was better. Yeah.